In this demonstration, we will be covering the replacement parts for the Model H1 pneumatic actuator. The Model H1 pneumatic actuator is used on both our pre-action and deluge systems. I've got it. To repair the Model H1 pneumatic actuator, refer to the appropriate data sheet for taking the system out of service before removing it from the trim. With the system placed out of service, the pneumatic actuator can now be removed from the trim. Ready? Mm -hmm. The part numbers for the maintenance kit, as well as the part numbers for the individual replacement parts for the Model H1 pneumatic actuator can be found in the replacement parts book or on the technical data sheet. The repair parts for the Model H1 pneumatic actuator are offered in a maintenance kit as well as each of the parts are offered individually as well. The parts that are offered for the Model H1 pneumatic actuator are the upper diaphragm, the piston, the lower diaphragm, the spring pad, the spring, the seat, and the screws. To disassemble the pneumatic actuator and replace the components, start by removing the hex head screws from the cover. With the screws now removed, you can remove the cover from the pneumatic actuator. With the cover now removed, you can remove the upper diaphragm and the piston. The spacer and the lower diaphragm. The spring pad. And the spring. To remove the seat, Turn the pneumatic actuator over so that the seat is in the upright position. To install the replacement parts, start by installing the new seat into the body. Once the new seat is installed, turn the pneumatic actuator over so that the body is in the upright position. At this point, you can install the new spring into the body. At this point, to reassemble the pneumatic actuator, insert the lower diaphragm into the spacer, insert the upper diaphragm back into the cover, Install the piston into the upper diaphragm and install the spacer onto the piston. At this point with the partial assembly of the cover and the spacer, you can line up the holes and install each of the screws through the holes. Once this is done, you can turn the cover over so the lower diaphragm is in the upright position. At this point, you can reinstall the spring pad. With the spring pad now reinstalled, we can reinstall the cover onto the pneumatic actuator. This concludes our repair parts demonstration for the Model H1 pneumatic actuator.